Hello world, it's Wendy. Um, I just wanted to let you know I went to my nutrition class today, so I'll share some information with that. And I also wanted to let you know that my doctor called and said that I have a bacterial infection that causes acid in my stomach, so I have to take three antibiotics and Pepto-Bismol and they said that will not postpone my surgery. As a matter of fact, my surgeon called and said they're moving it up from 11 to 9 a.m., so I have to be there at 6 a.m., but I'd rather do that and get it over with. <laughs> so they gave me this booklet. It's a handy-dandy guide uh, to all the numbers that I'll need for the dietitian and the doctors. The day before my surgery, I need to eat a light breakfast, a full liquid lunch, and a clear liquid dinner. Then at the hospital, my first day I'll have clear liquids, and my second day I'll have full liquids. I need to take vitamins. I need to take a um, Flintstones Complete vitamin three times a day. I need to have 1,500 milligrams of calcium. I need um, a B12. I can have an injection once a month at my doctor, or I can have um, a pill once a week that melts under your tongue. And I also need to have B1, which melts under your tongue. And I'll need these vitamins for the rest of my life. Then um, protein, because I'm a woman, I'll need 75 to 80 grams of protein. And they said, life after surgery, that I need to avoid straws for the first 12 weeks. I need to avoid caffeine probably for the rest of my life. Um, I need to avoid carbonated beverages for at least three to six months. I need to avoid alcohol for at least the first year, probably for the rest of my life because it'll cause dumping syndrome. And my daughter has decided she does not like dumping syndrome term. She says it sounds like poop. <laughs> so she has decided we're calling it trick or treating because <laughs> it's a trick every time you take a treat. <laughs> so dumping will refer to as trick or treating from now on. <laughs> um, four weeks following surgery, I'll be on a full fluid diet, full liquid diet. Um, with that, I can have uh, strained baby cereals and uh, yogurt, cottage cheese, oatmeal, uh, uh, some low-fat string cheese. So even though it's full liquid, um, it's, it's still um, not as bad as I thought it would be. Then weeks five to eight following surgery, will I can have pureed foods. And then moving beyond surgery, uh, nine to 15 weeks, I can have regular foods. And then I can have uh, more and more until I'm 18 months out of surgery. And then that'll be my regular diet from then on after 18 months. They said some of the foods to avoid are peanut butter, nuts, bacon, sausage, hot dogs, bratwurst, bologna in any form, salami, potted meats, spam, Vienna sausage, beef jerky, breaded and fried foods, fast food, pork rinds, potato chips, movie popcorn, snack crackers, regular pop, alcohol, Starbucks, candy, desserts, ice cream, Alfredo sauce, cheese sauce, and gravy. So all the good stuff. <laughs> then um, they did give me, if you can see, a diet log sheet to list everything I eat and drink so they know if I'm getting the right amount of food and nutrition. Um, then they said that we might have psychological problems. They said that we might have blood clots. Yeah, blood clots. And 
that could cause death, but in order to prevent blood clots, they're going to have tights on my legs, they're going to have air compression on my legs, they're going to have me walking, and they're also going to give me at-home shot injections, so I have to give myself a shot. Um, I learned that today. Once I come home, I have to give myself injections for blood thinners. And the other thing they said is there could be leaking, um, but hopefully that breathing machine I showed you the other day will help prevent leaking. So hopefully that'll that'll deter deter uh, both the leaking and the blood clots and help us find those. But other than that, that's everything I have. So I'm going shopping for more food <laughs> so I can get everything on my list. So uh, other than that, um, I, I really don't have anything else to update you with at this time. So stay tuned for the next shopping adventure. <laughs> Thanks.